Mathematicians, in this lesson you are going to learn how to write fractions by looking at a set of objects and grouping it into equal parts. You know that when we talk about fractions, we are talking about equal parts, and when we write fractions, we write the numerator, just the part we are thinking about, over the denominator, the total number of parts. Often we talk about fractions when we are breaking shapes into equal parts, but we can also talk about fractions when we have a set or a group of similar things. I'm going to show this to you by looking at a set of crayons. There are ten crayons in this set. I can think of all ten crayons as my whole. If I want to break the whole into equal parts, each crayon becomes an equal part. That means that there are ten equal parts in the whole set, and each crayon becomes one part out of a total of ten, or one-tenth of the set. When I count the crayons as fractions, I would count them like this. One-tenth, two-tenths, three-tenths, four-tenths, five-tenths, six-tenths, seven-tenths, eight-tenths, nine-tenths, and ten-tenths. When I put all the crayons together, that makes the whole set that I started with. It's just like breaking shapes into fractions. Each crayon in the set is not exactly the same. There are some red crayons and some blue crayons. I want to know what fraction of the set of crayons is blue. To do this, I would do what I always do with fractions. I would write the part that I am thinking about over the total number of parts. I am only thinking about blue crayons. Remember that we said that we are thinking about each crayon as an equal part or as one-tenth of the whole. So if we count just the blue crayons, it would look like this. One-tenth, two-tenths, three-tenths, and four-tenths. Now I need to write the fraction four-tenths. The fraction would be the crayons that are blue over the total number of crayons. Since I said there were four blue crayons, I would write four as my numerator. Then I would draw a line. For the denominator, I would need to write the total number of crayons, which I know is ten. I would write ten as my denominator at the bottom. The fraction of crayons that are blue is four-tenths. I could read this fraction as four over ten. Four out of ten, because the fraction of crayons that is blue is four. I could read this fraction as four over ten. Four out of ten, because the fraction of total crayons that is blue is four out of a total of ten, or as simply four-tenths. Let's see how this works in a problem. There are students waiting for the bus. What fraction of the students are boys? First, I would decide what my set is. Remember, I said a set is like a group. I have a set of students. The total number of students is going to be my whole. My total number of students is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I could think about each student as an equal part out of a total of 8. The part that the question asks me to think about is the fraction of students that are boys. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 boys. It doesn't matter where they are in line. Since I said that I could think about each boy as one-eighth of the whole number of students, I could actually count like this. One-eighth, two-eighths, three-eighths, four-eighths, and five-eighths. Five-eighths of these students are boys. Now I need to write the fraction. You know that when I write the fraction, I write the numerator on top. The numerator is just the part that the question asks me to think about, which is the fraction of students that are boys. I would write the five boy students at the top and then draw my line. Then for my denominator on the bottom, I would need to write the total number of students, which I already said was eight. The fraction of students that are boys is five-eighths. I could read this fraction as five over eight, Five out of eight, because it's five boy students out of a total of eight students, or simply as five eighths. Now you know how to write fractions by looking at a set of objects and grouping it into equal parts.